Okay, so this presentation is about starting natural alert with GeoServer CSS. Um, so first, a couple of uh, introductions. Natural alert, if you haven't stumbled into it yet, is a public domain uh, data set available at uh, three different uh, low scale um, uh, variants. It features tightly integrated vector and raster data set that you can use to make low scale maps. GeoServer CSS is a CSS inspired language for map styling. It's compact, powerful, human readable, and most importantly, human writable. So what was the challenge here? Uh, we wanted a significant, but not too complicated base map that we could use in training, in our training package. We already had OSM styles that uh, mimics the uh, OpenStreetMap styling. The problem is it's nice, but it's too complicated. It wouldn't fit in four hours. The styles are too big, too long, and too difficult to explain. So we wanted something simpler uh, based on a small data set, and we started doing um, this map of uh, Natural Alert. We started with a political map. You can see uh, the map. It has a, a high hierarchy of labeling, um, colors uh, of the states that uh, do not overlap with each other. Uh, you can zoom in, get a bit more detail, and then, oops, sorry, uh, even more detail and uh, even more detail, uh, leveraging the various uh, uh, data set at the various scales. <coughs> As you can see, it's, it ends up make, uh, being made up of a bunch of layers that all, are all provided by, uh, uh, by Natural Alert, and we typically are able to explain how to build this style from scratch in like four hours. I don't have time to give you all the specifics, but just one example. Uh, here is the, the style for the countries, in particular the style for the countries at, uh, let's say, 50 million. Um, we are limiting the scale denominator between 20 and 70 million because, well, our map is, is not limited to just 10, 50, 50 and uh, 100. You can see usage of a few functions to change the colors. I typically like to start from name it the color and then, them, then make them darker, lighter, uh, desaturate them, stuff like that. I use the color brewer to create the, the seven color uh, that are powering uh, the map. And then you can look at uh, uh, stuff like uh, labeling with uh, label, labeling priority and um, uh, based on the population. Uh, so that we, uh, we are sure to label the, the most populous countries first and uh, the others after, what, after that. Uh, we are also working on a physical map. The physical map is a different challenge in that we are basically using uh, a raster layer, which is, let's say, our physical map, and everything else is just labeling on top of it. So uh, we are taking all the, um, the physical layers from uh, Natural Alert and basically trying to extract as many labels as possible, maintaining the map readable. Uh, and I just started working on it. You can see a, a first result at, dif at two different scales. I'll have still to, to work on, on the um, 10 million case. Um, OK, so how do you get this uh, set of styles? It's on GitHub, of course. You can go to the GeoSolutions uh, repository and uh, look for any styles. Uh, the physical map is currently on a branch because it's not done, it's not complete, uh, but it's all there. And that's it. Perfect, thank you.